we'll just jump in with the results then if you guys are ready. Yes, we are. Okay, so um, that initial test result of BRCA plus did come back negative or normal. So it's great yes. news for you. Yes. yes! Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Yeah. So, so, you know, that was the test that focused on the high risk gene that yes. we were looking for. Um, and those were ones that were most likely to impact surgery, potentially if they were positive. Mm -hmm. um, and so this negative result means we didn't find any changes. Um, or what we call mutations in them that would predispose you to increase cancer risk. Uh, of course, with negative results, though, it doesn't explain why you develop cancer at such a young age, but it definitely makes these genes um, very less likely to be contributing to your personal history. Okay. So, okay, so also that means we did. I did not pass them on to Peyton and Chandler. Correct, yeah. So since these genes good. are normal for you, we would expect them to be normal for your kids, too. Okay. Um, you know, unless there's something in Brian's history that he could potentially be passing on. But if you're negative, it would really indicate that your children are likely negative as well. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Have Thank a great you. Day, guys. You, you too. too. Bye. Bye. Yep. Bye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so. Finally, some good news. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just can't even. Oh, just. Amen. So happy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, I asked Brian, I'm like, do you pray? And he's like, you don't know how much I pray during the day, Krissa. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. And even my kids say that. They're like, mom, of course we pray. She reads a lot of devotions, and there's a lot of prayers being said. Um, we all have her favorite saying right by our, well, I keep it right by my workstation. We keep it in the car, it's on the fridge, you know, and it's all about the power and the strength, and, you know, and a lot of prayers, and it's it seemed to be working. I thought I would for sure be back by this fall. Pretty sure, like, you know, I'll do my treatments, I'll have surgery, and I'll, I'll be strong enough, healthy enough to be back when school starts this year. So kind of a strange feeling, um, mixed emotions. You know, um, sad because I'm not coming back, but yet I feel fortunate that I get to stay home and get healthy and get stronger and not get sick so it's kind of bittersweet both ways the statistics of one in eight like when you think of that and I kind of went down the hall and I'm like one two three four five six seven eight you one two three four five six seven eight you that's huge that's a huge number. I'm going to go right into three. Right. Cheers, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. The last one. Um, it's exciting, but yet we were talking too last night about um, it's been such a part of my life that I think I am going to miss it you know, but yet I'm excited to be at this point in my journey and be done with it. I think it's the people knowing that they're here for you, to support you about anything, um, just that constant, that routine. I think at the beginning you think, oh my gosh, I can't do it, you know, and now you're like, I did it, I, I'm done. Um, I mean, I still have a long journey because of surgery and I have to have radiation, but um, I think this first hurdle I got over and I did well. You know, if I see patients feel better, that's really made up my day. They get to do something that they wish to do, take the trip with families, or something that really important to them really make my day. Tomorrow is my surgery, 
and it is going to be a single mastectomy. Um, and out of this whole journey, this has probably been my, my biggest fear. Um, from the time I was diagnosed and they kind of told me what I would be doing and the treatments I would have, surgery was the thing I've been the most afraid of or the most nervous about. It's very personal, like chemo, I still have all my parts, which, you know, now, I don't know, it's, it's very personal. Um, I think not just physically, but like mentally. So, Chris, are you back at all? Or are you still? No, Good. no. Good. I have Good. surgery tomorrow. Four. Mastectomy, single. So this is like your final meal. Yeah, I know. So I think this is just one more hurdle that I'm going to be able to get over. I've come this far, I'm not stopping. <laughs> She's done, it's still a little bit of time for me. Oh, sure. I don't hurry anything. Like, this is always in the back of my mind. You know, is it gonna come back? Is Am I gonna be okay? Oh, will it go to my other breast? Will it go to, you know, a different organ or, you know, someplace else? But I think that's just like natural for you to think that way and to worry. It wasn't even real until I got like in here and the gown on and the IV in and, you know. I'm like, this is real. How are you feeling? Nervous. Anxious. Yeah, a little emotional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, I don't know. Perfect. All right, and what have you done today? Um, I'm gonna to me on my left side. Perfect. Any questions for me? I'll be calling yep. you and you'll let you know uh, okay. if we're like half done, almost done, that sort Perfect. of thing. Okay? All right. Anything else? No? All right, now's the time for hugs and kisses and see you later. Okay.